God immortal, invisible, the only wise God, be all the glory, all the honor, and the adoration. For a moment like this again, even in his presence through this platform. Everlasting Father, we want to really say thank you. Thank you for the past weeks, particularly for last week, Tuesday. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you, Everlasting Father. We are so grateful. And thank you for what you are about to do again today. To prove yourself right in the life of mankind and to prove the enemy, the adversary, Satan, wrong. Lord, concerning all his atrocities, all his negative activities in the life of your people. We thank you, Father. You are the deliverer. Lord, I just count it a great privilege to be relevant, even in this particular assignment. I ask, oh God, that you will take over and let your voice be heard, while every other negative voice shall be silenced, even in the life of your people. Thank you for quick answer to prayers. In Jesus' mighty name. Brothers and sisters, they are at home, mommies and daddies, Young adults, both male and female, I say you are all welcome. And to all the victims, stunned victors, that are proposed in their heart to keep watching this particular program, I say God bless you. That which he has done in your life shall remain permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. And I'm trusting God that even through you, more, more, I say more, more souls shall be won into the kingdom of God. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. The topic of today's particular message is the part two of the one we did last week. And so the topic is, the devil is a liar, part two. The devil is a liar, part two. The word of God says in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19, that nevertheless, the foundation of the law standeth sure, having this zeal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let everyone that nameth the name of the Christ depart from evil. Everyone that nameth the name of Christ, let them depart from evil. This is the essence of this particular message. That everyone that is doing contrarily to the plan of God, you now realize that it is the devil at work. And then you now say no to him. You depart from that particular evil activity, and then you return completely to the Lord. My message is completely for the sexual lost victims. Be you fornicators, adulterers. Be you the one that is always there watching pornography, leading to that particular thing that is really disturbing your life, or that has been disturbing your life, called masturbation. It's not born of God at all. You were not born like that. It is, just the, the, it is just the activity of the devil. And it's a liar. Today, I'm trusting God that your deliverance shall be commanded, even as you listen to this message again. And it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. So, to change from homosexual inclination to heterosexual, version. Be you gay or lesbian, you need to be more inclined to the latter than the former. That is to say, you need to be more inclined to being an heterosexual than being an homosexual. And what do I mean by this? You need to start creating affection for the opposite sex. Why you look at the same gender as having nothing to offer you. In fact, it is animalistic and it is barbaric. I know you understand what I'm saying. Yes, for a man to put his thing inside the anus of another man, it's barbaric. It's even embarrassing. It doesn't offer you anything other than diseases like HIV AIDS, gonorrhea, and so on and so forth. You know the thing that you have been suffering, you are just in the hidden because the devil is a liar. Today, you shall surely be delivered. And I'm saying it emphatically, with all authority in the name of Jesus, that is above every other name, that your deliverance shall be commanded. 
And so therefore, friends, this is better said than done, for nothing good comes easy for us as children of God. For without God, we can do nothing. Hence, you have to rely on the help of the Holy Spirit for you to pull through. 1 John chapter 5, verse 4, it says it, that for whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. So what I'm saying in essence is that you can only come through by giving your life to Jesus Christ. Salvation through Jesus Christ is the number one step that is needful of you to take. And now, exercising your faith as a child of God now, the more you tune your mind, that mind that devil has captivated, that mind that the devil has taken over, it is now for you now to tune that your mind towards the opposite says by the help of the Holy Spirit. And the more you create interest in them. Look at the testimony of that brother. He said he has never in his life slept with any lady. Neither has he even toasted any. Not to talk of even sleeping with her. All, she was, all he was doing while living was just his gazing life. Just running after men like himself. Until the day of his deliverance came. And then he was convicted. Just like I'm believing the Holy Spirit for your conviction, even now. It doesn't matter how long you have stayed in it. You will come out of it by the help of the Holy Spirit. So that way, by tuning your mind to the opposite says, and the more you do this, the more you are creating interest in her. Or on, or in her, yes. And that way, you exercise victory over the wicked spirit of homosexuality. By doing that, you are exercising victory over the wicked spirit of homosexuality. Now, looking at the scripture, if you look at the man called Daniel, it's a very good example of a man that really made use of his mind. Thank God he wasn't an homosexual, but he's a man that really knew his onion. He displayed the power of his godly mind. The Bible says he proposed in his mind not to eat the king's meat. He knew he has a destiny to fulfill. He knew he was going somewhere. And so therefore, even at the presentation of that meal, he proposed in his mind that he will not eat it. So, my dear, the flesh, this flesh we're talking about, will definitely pull against the spirit. Yes, it will definitely pull against the spirit. But you must stand your ground. You have to be determined, saying to the devil, you are a liar. You cannot get me again. Enough is enough. Enough is enough of your game. I will not do this thing again. Just like that brother, the testimony that was shared last week, told the devil to his face. Even when, one of his, one, even when some of his uh, partners, when he was still in the world here, yeah, when they came naked, appearing to him, he said, no, I will not go back again to my vomit. He has saying it that the devil is a liar, a pure liar, and the father of liars. So he has left that camp. You can as well leave the camp today in the mighty name of Jesus. So anytime the urge returns, remember what Daniel did. Remember what he did and remember what that brother also did. Just like I have just told you now. Joseph, though not an homosexual also, is also another good example. Why Daniel did is against idolatrous food. Joseph, in his own, was against fornication. Hear him in the face of the offer of his boss's wife made to him. He said, how can I do this wicked thing? How can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? That was what came out of his mouth. 
He had the spirit of the fear of God inside of him. At the dictate of Mr. Devil, the adversary, the stealer and the killer of destiny, Joseph was able to overcome him. He was able to overcome that temptation. And so therefore, you are outside there and you are hearing this message. It is time for you also to determine and take your place and let the devil know that enough is enough of all these atrocities concerning your life. Daniel and Joseph, they determined in their mind, respectively, not to defile themselves. Each of them didn't just do that in the flesh, but fought. They fought a very good fight, fighting the flesh through the spirit. So the flesh will automatically want to come. But it is now for you, as a child of God, that have seen God as the God of the truth, while Satan is the liar, the father of, li of all liars. Yes, I haven't seen him now. It is now for you now to fight without your flesh and say, no, I am not going there again. I won't do that thing again. I will not visit that place again. I will not go to that place again. I will not company with those people again. Yes, it is possible. If only you can take this step. And I know, and I know that God will surely back you up. Even as you do it sincerely because of your destiny. Both Joseph and Daniel, they knew that they were going somewhere to fulfill purpose in life. And so the same thing is you. God has a purpose for your life. And you will surely reach that goal in the name of Jesus. And so for you to get there, you need to tell the devil that he's a liar. So friends, this implies that you too can fight the spirit of sexual lust. Be it fornication, be it adultery, be it masturbation, be it gay life, be it lesbianism, be it pornography, and so on and so forth. Anything that is related to sexual loss, you can fight it. Even at your age, sass and mass at home, that you are hearing this message, you can stop it. It's not only limited to the young ones. There are old ones that are still in it. And I believe that you will not want to go to the grave, to your grave, even with, that, with this particular dilemma. So it is time for you now to rise up and say no to the dictates of the devil. Not just through the flesh, but through the spirit of the help of the Holy Spirit. And that is why I'm emphasizing it again, that you need to be born again. You need to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you are yet to do this. Because it is then that all these things that I'm saying can work wonders in your life. That ability to say no, each time the urge comes, I pray by the Spirit of the living God that you receive it now in the mighty name of Jesus. As you are listening to me, receive that spirit now. The ability to say no to the dictates of the enemy called Satan. Each time he comes to bring about his temptation, to lure you into that particular dilemma, ability to say no, receive it now in the name of Jesus. Yes, you can stop it. Yes, it is possible by determining to suppress the flesh. It's all about the flesh. It's all about it. The flesh and the spirit, they are always at loggerheads. But one supersedes the other. And the one that supersedes, that is supposed to supersede, is the spirit, which is the spirit of God that is already in you. So another solution to this is the word of God. Homosexuality is an act of the flesh rooted in the spirit. It is a conclusive reflection of the mind. The mind is an intellectual part of the body that determines what the flesh should do or not to do. You cannot control a man or a woman from passing by but you can control your thoughts, your thoughts, your thoughts. Just like Romans chapter 10 verse 17 says, faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. 
the, thing that you, the things that you are hearing matters most. The information that is coming onto you matters most. Who is speaking into your life? I am here today to let you know that it is time for you to stop the devil from speaking into your life. Speaking that particular thing, go and do it, go and do this, go and do that. You can stop it and you can stop him. So a continual renewal of that same mind by eliminating help of the Holy Spirit through the use of the word of God will impart also on your will. It is your will that the flesh depends on to function. It is your will. Just like I have been explaining. It is your will. If you determine not to do it again, it will stop. It will stop. The devil cannot stop you. You should have an upper hand over him. So as soon as your mind is cleansed and is filled with the word of God, your will for homosexuality will fizzle out. Thank God for the past day for as many that have been calling me and I'll be dialoguing with them. And the Lord has been proving himself faithful. In fact, one brother was just crying and weeping, even on the phone, all the way from Potter Court. He was really crying that he has never had such a message like this since his youthful age. And he has been, he has been in it. He has been looking for a way out until he had the message. And the Lord has commanded his deliverance. So therefore, the true knowledge of and meditation on the word of God will illuminate the grossly darkened mind and reprobacy will depart. Evil imagination will consequently cease and humility will set in. Humility will set in. Like one naval officer also called, asking for help in the area of uh, masturbation. He's married, he's enjoying his marriage, but this thing has been on and on and on and on there until God, until he humbled himself. He called and he asked for help, and the help has come. To, to, this morning, he's still sending me a message. Say, Mommy, thank you. I said, No, return all the glory back to God. I'm just a vessel being used in his hand. So, God giving you more grace, whereby deliverance and healing takes form. In reality, Nineveh in the Bible stands as an example of the application of the grace of God to date. The people sinned as a land. God sent a prophet to warn them into repentance. That is, they received the word of the Lord and repented. They were pardoned and lightened. If you can read through the, book, the, the word of this word in the book of Jonah, chapter 3, verses 6 to 8, you will understand better what I'm saying now. So it's, it was the repentance through their received, received of the word of God by the mouth of Jonah that procured their deliverance from the positive wrath of God. Hello, dear. I want you to know that the wrath of God is surely coming, you know, the alarm is sounding again. God is not happy with the homosexuals in the whole world. Yes, I can understand that the announcement is going all over. But God is faithful to deliver as many that are ready to submit. God is faithful. So friends, these points make for how the homosexuals can be healed in the name of Jesus. Just as you are hearing me now, make up your mind. Come out of that prison. Come out of it. Come out of it. It is time. Yes, come out of it. Make up your mind. God is able and is able to save, to heal, and to deliver. He's the one that will do the work by the help of his Holy Spirit. And so he is calling you now to come out of that destructive spirit. The door is open now for you listening to me and ready to do away with that sin as I pray with you now and as I pray for you.
everlasting Father, thank you so much for all the years that I've had your word, even at this point in time. I pray, O oh Lord, that by the help of your spirit, O oh God, Daddy, save them, heal them, deliver them by your mercy and by the blood of Jesus. O oh Lord, you have sent me on this errand to go and open the door and have obeyed. Please, Lord, the reward of obedience that I'm really expecting is the salvation of these souls, the healing of these souls, and the deliverance of these souls for as many that are in it. Thank you, everlasting Father, because I know you will surely prove yourself more right and prove the enemies wrong in Jesus' name. God bless you, even as you have heard the word, and the word will surely work wonders, even in your life. I'm waiting even for your calls. As, you, as the number is being displayed, even on the screen, I'm waiting for your text messages also. And if you can shout me, use that second number. The second number on the screen, you can shout me there. That's my shout line. God bless you. There are books that have been written on this particular issue. We have 21 nuggets to overcome sexual lust. We have coping sexual immoralities among the youths. We have the power of resistance. This one is very, very powerful. All of them are powerful. This one is healing the gay. Hallelujah. Then the divine message to the gay world, as well as the secret of divine healing. All of them are at affordable prices. And you can come to RCCG, Directorate of Prayers. That is where we are functioning by the special grace of God. Under my father in the Lord, Pastor Peter Olawale. And so therefore, you can reach out to me there anytime, any day. Monday to Friday, I'm available there for your counsel. If you can come personally, and if it is on phone, I'm always available. God bless you. The word you have heard today will not work. We will we, we not work negative in your life, but it will work wonders in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. That even through you, more souls, more souls shall be delivered in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you even as we meet again next week by the special grace of God. Hallelujah.